Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about OCHCR and human rights. The rights of indigenous peoples have been progressively given more attention by the UN system. Yet indigenous people continue to be left behind and suffer disproportionately from climate change, environmental degradation, high levels of poverty, poor access to education, health and broader human rights violations. While representing over 6% of the world's population, that is 476 million in some 90 countries indigenous peoples are nearly 3 times as likely to be living in extreme poverty they account for almost 19% of the extreme poor indigenous people have been particularly hard hit by the covid-19 pandemic and its socio economic and cultural consequences globally there is a lack of disaggregated data on indigenous peoples and where data exists the situation is concerning Indigenous people live on all continents from the Arctic to the Pacific via Asia, Africa and the Americas. There is no singularly authoritative definition of indigenous peoples under the international law and policy and the indigenous declaration does not set out any definition. This decision was taken intentionally by the drafters based on the rationale that the identification of an indigenous people is the right of the people itself. the right of self identification and a fundamental element of the right to self determination indigenous people's situation and context are highly variable any single definition will not fully capture the full diversity of the indigenous people of the world in fact its articles 9 and 33 state that indigenous people and individuals have the right to belong to an indigenous community or nation in accordance with the traditions and customs of the community or nation concerned and that they have the right to determine their own identity the general assembly in its resolution 65/198 of 21st december 2010 decided to organize a high level plenary meeting of the general assembly to be known as the world conference on indigenous peoples in order to share perspectives and the best practices on the realization of rights of indigenous people including pursuing the objectives of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. The World Conference was held on 22nd September 2014 and in the afternoon of 23rd September 2014 in New York. It resulted in a concise, action-oriented outcome document prepared on the basis of inclusive and open informal consultations with member states and indigenous peoples. Indigenous peoples continues to face a lot of threats. especially to the land rights from natural resource extraction infrastructure projects large scale agriculture and conservation in some instances there is a heightened risk of statelessness particularly to those indigenous people whose traditional lands cross national borders this has resulted in the displacement of millions of indigenous people and caused conflicts and a sharp increase in attacks killings and criminalization of indigenous peoples including increasing threats and assassinations of human rights defenders this calls for reinvigorated efforts to address the negative legacy of historical injustices discrimination and assimilation that indigenous peoples have been subjected to over centuries on 8 september 2017 the general assembly adopted resolution ars 71321 entitled enhancing the participation of indigenous peoples representatives and institutions in meetings of relevant united nations bodies on issues affecting them this resolution is a result of a process that began with the commitment by member states during the world conference on indigenous peoples in 2014 to consider the participation of indigenous people at the united nations the process continues based on decisions made by the general assembly i would like to end this video by a quote by Michel Bachelet who's the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights The pandemic hammers home the importance of ensuring that indigenous people can exercise their rights to self-government and self-determination This is about saving lives and protecting a precious web of cultures languages and traditional knowledge that connect us to the deep roots of humanity Thank you for watching